Uh, he, of course, was the co-author of the Great Communist Manifesto of 1848. Uh, with the main idea uh, that industrialism had raised this new middle class called the bourgeoisie, and they had oppressively used the working class called the proletariat. It was through things like this that Marx and Engels uh, talked about the history of the world, and they redefined how history itself was seen. They redefined the identity of the past. So instead of it being about a progress of virtue or a progress of the church or about great repentant heroes in the past, it suddenly became about economics. It suddenly became about class warfare. In fact, let me just read to you their words. The manifesto being our joint production, I, this is Engels writing, consider myself bound to state that the fundamental proposition which forms its nucleus belongs to Marx. And that proposition is that in every historical epoch, the prevailing mode of economic production and exchange and the social organization necessarily following from it, they form the basis upon which is built up and from which alone can be explained the political and intellectual history of that epoch that consequently, the whole history of mankind, since the dissolution of primitive tribal, tribal societies holding land in common ownership, has been a history of class struggles, contest between exploiting and exploited, ruling and oppressed classes, that the history of these class struggles form a series of evolutions in which nowadays a stage has been reached where the exploited and oppressed class, the proletariat, cannot attain its emancipation from the sway of the exploiting and ruling class, the bourgeoisie, without at the same time and once and for all emancipating society at large from all exploitation, all oppression, all class distinctions, and all class struggles. In other words, this wasn't just a new revolution, this was the revolution. In fact, Engels would compare communism uh, to being like Darwin. He said that what Darwin had done for science and biology, communism would do for politics and all forms of governments. It would radically restructure the entire worldview of how man viewed himself, of how man viewed he should actually be ruled. It was in many ways to be therefore not just a new government, but an entire replacement for Christendom itself. It was Ingalls, for example, who said that all the possibilities of religion are exhausted. 